Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems. And this is the first of two videos where we're going to cover some enhancements to eDrawings for 2019. And this video will cover new features that are available in eDrawings Standard that were previously only available in eDrawings Professional, as well as graphics performance enhancements to eDrawings for 2019. And in the next video, we'll look at configuration management enhancements in eDrawings, as well as a greatly enhanced web HTML export that's available in eDrawings Professional for 2019. So eDrawings has always been divided into two packages, eDrawings Standard, or the free viewer, which you can download from eDrawingsViewer.com. And this allows anyone on Windows or Macintosh to open up SolidWorks part files and assemblies, as well as a, a whole other slew of file types. This has continued to be enhanced as well, so now you can open STEP and IGES files as well as many other CAD formats like you see on the screen here. But it used to be that if you wanted to take measurements off these files or do any type of advanced interrogation like section views and markups, that would require eDrawings Professional, which can either be purchased or is included with SOLIDWORKS Professional or higher licenses. This led to some complicated situations as SOLIDWORKS began uh, pulling down functionalities like Measure into the base version but only under certain circumstances. So we ended up with uh, kind of confusing scenarios of when you were allowed to measure and when you weren't. For 2019 all this confusion is cleared up because all the tools that were previously only available in eDrawings Professional, so the ability to measure section, move components, do your markups. Those are all now available in the free viewer. So no more segmentation there. And it's just that going forward, there'll be new features added to eDrawings Professional that will be exclusive to that. Okay. But the ability to measure, section, do your markups is now available in every version of eDrawings. So to illustrate this here, I'll just open up a uh, assembly, SOLIDWORKS assembly. Again, you don't have to publish out eDrawings uh, documents from SOLIDWORKS. eDrawings can be used to just open up SOLIDWORKS files directly. And you'll see here that I have the ability to measure between different components. This is eDrawings standard that I'm running here. Uh, I have the ability to generate section views if I wish. I can easily drag through here. And also the markup capabilities. So if I want to be adding notes uh, to any of these components, you can easily do that. So again, it's great that these capabilities are now uh, finally available in every version of eDrawings. So the other major enhancement to eDrawings for 2019 that I want to cover in this example is the performance. Now, eDrawings has always been able to take advantage of your graphics card. If you go into the options for eDrawings, you'll see there's an option for graphics boost that's enabled. Um, this is what's going to allow you to actually use the hardware acceleration from your graphics card if you have a, a good workstation type graphics card here. And just like the graphics engine in SOLIDWORKS was redone for 2019 for better performance, the same thing was done here to eDrawings. And I can just tell you the performance improvements are drastic. So if you've ever worked with large assemblies in eDrawings and found uh, frustrating performance in the past, I'd encourage you to take another look at it in 2019. I'm just going to show some footage here on the screen of different assemblies where I was uh, trying to rotate and pan and zoom on larger assemblies. And you can really see a marked difference between 2018 and 2019. Um, it's even more so in the feel of how it operates. It's, it's kind of hard to capture on the video, but it's just a much more fluid experience in 2019 than on 2018. And this is just captured on my laptop. Uh, it's using a Quadro M1200 graphics card, so very you know, low-end to mid-range graphics card here. So. Um, as you, if you have more powerful hardware, you'll get an even, even better experience out of it. So as you can see, some major enhancements to eDrawings for 2019 with the ability to measure and section and do your markups now in every license of eDrawings. 
uh, he had greatly enhanced performance in terms of graphical performance, rotating and panning and zooming as two major enhancements here. In the next video, we'll look at how eDrawings can also now better manage SOLIDWORKS configurations and that great new web HTML export that's available in the new eDrawings Professional. Uh, let us know if you have any other questions and thanks for watching.